I've been interested in hair since I was young. Um, during secondary school, I was doing all the girls' hair, asking they would they would ask me to do their hair and then they'd pay me lunch tokens. So <clears throat> I've been doing hair for quite a while. And we decided to do, well, learn it as I was uh, 16, about 16 to 18. I started taking it seriously, wanting to make a career out of it. And um, yeah, just from there, really. Yeah, I started in hairdressing and then <clears throat> wanted to make the transition to barbering soon after because um, I had quite a bad experiences in hair salons. So I kind of, I'm not very much a girly girl than I find that most hairdressers are and I think that <clears throat> being in a barber's, being a barber's is kind of more relaxed, it's kind of more chilled. I do get a bit of headache from these guys but you can, it's like a family, who, who doesn't get a headache from family. I just think that, <laughs> I just think that, <laughs> I just think that um, attention to detail with hairdressing, I think it's a lot of, a lot about attention to detail with hairdressing, the way the hair falls, obviously man's hair is short as well. <coughs> yeah, That's man's hair is short as well, so again, I don't really think I can bring anything really, but I'm pretty much a perfectionist, so everything has to be perfect. Yes, I do. Yes, I much prefer them than the uh, English ones because they make a bit of bad noise, the English ones. So <clears throat> the American ones are just more precise, they're a bit more cleaner, they're a bit more consistent. Um, just the noise really, the, in my circle is just the noise, it's kind of just killed off the noise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, the consistency, <clears throat> consistency and efficiency is key to barbering. You can't have a cut where your clippers might <clears throat> screw up halfway through. For lack of a better phrase. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Get it. <laughs> it's a must. 